Then she said to an ass, and said to her servants, Dry, and go forward. Suck not thy riding for me, except I bid thee. So she went and came unto the man of God, to Mount Camel. And it came to pass, when the man of God saw her far off, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And she answered, It is well. 2 Kings 4, 24 through 26. It is interesting to note that many of us who claim to know God really don't know God, but we know about Him. Now, there's a major difference with knowing about God and knowing God. Many will preach, teach, sing, and speak based on the convictions that they've had by what somebody else said. But that, that true conviction which comes from knowing Him personally. Moses knew his Hebrew roots because of what his mother taught him, instilled in him from a child. However, however, it was not until the burning bush over 70 odd years later when Moses got to know this God that his mother spoke about. We cannot know God unless we have an experience with him. But one often wonders what is it about the child of God that separates him from the rest? I submit to you that it's not just our own strength that causes us to be able to weather the storm. However, it is our faith and belief in God that gives us joy in the hard times. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, there are two realities, two truths, if you will. There is the truth of what happens in your life, and then there is the truth of God. Now, this can become confusing, but let me simplify it. Whatever is happening to you now is a reality, but then God's truth supersedes your reality. The truth is that Sarah was old and barren and could not bear children. But the truth of God allows Sarah to produce a child even in her old age. And it is with that premise we come upon the Shulamite woman. She is indeed a remarkable woman. The scripture would indicate that this woman was a prominent woman, someone who is wealthy. The fact that she was able to accommodate Elisha shows that she somewhat had wealth. Now, along with all the fame and all the wealth that we can have, there are still things that we need that cannot be produced by material wealth. And so Elisha told her that she would receive a child. Now this woman knew that she was barren. She accepted living without a child. After receiving this child, enjoying the child, having aspirations for the child, without any warning, this child died. Ah, she could have got ready to mourn, got ready to bury the child. But in an act of faith, this woman brought the child to Elisha. Her act of faith was based on the fact that I was barren and had an impossible situation. But then God made the impossible possible. Now, if God did that then, he can do this now. When the question was posed to her, is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? And is it well with thy child? The woman responded by saying it is well. One might say, well, she was lying because the child was not well. This woman was not speaking from the premise of her truth, but she was speaking from the premise of God's truth. She was in the present, but she was looking in the future. So when she opened her mouth and said, it is well, what she was saying in reality, that it shall be well. Speaking by faith doesn't mean that we won't cry it doesn't mean that we won't hurt. It is clear that this woman showed signs of being visibly distraught. Thus, the questions were asked to her. But even though tears might be running down my eyes, I still have faith in God that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I can ask or think. This is why I can open my mouth and say it might not be well now, but it shall be well. It is well. The quote of the day, knowing about God is not the same as knowing God. As you go to the child of God, go knowing that your issues are real. Yes, these are your realities, but the truth of God supersedes your reality. Oh, and before I go, I'd just like to send a very special birthday greetings to my wife, Evander Stanik Mary, who's celebrating her birthday today. God bless you, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.